Hey guys, what's up? It's Wintwolf, and we're back with another speed build for today. Before we get into the speed build, I wanted to go through a tour and talk about the video. Then you'll have music and a speed build, and then a tour and screenshots. So yeah, today we're doing a renovation of this house that Little Simsy made. She called it the outdated house on the gallery. So if you guys want to check it out, um, I'll put all the information down below. Um, she made this house that was supposed to be inspired by the 90s. And she called it outdated because she realized that it doesn't actually look like the 90s, which I cannot concur or disagree because I have no idea what the 90s looks like. I was born in 2001. <laughs> um, so she made a point to put beige everywhere. I'm really quickly, I'm, what I'm doing is I'm going to go through what I'm going to change. Then we're going to get in the speed build and then we'll go into screenshots and then after picture, after the after tour. Yeah. So she put everything beige outside. I'm going to get rid of this brick for one. I really don't like red brick ever. Especially not on a house completely, like all the way. Sometimes it's good as like an accent color. I never like houses that are completely brick though. So I'm going to get rid of the brick. We're going to change out the roof uh, texture to be something else. We're going to change all the windows to be white. I want to go for modern farmhouse-y. I'm going to change out the pathway as well because like I said, I don't like brick. I also think it's weird that she did this and I don't know if that was purposeful or... Um, Going into the house, it's pretty closed off as an older home should be, I think. Um, you have this nice entryway, I'm gonna zoom up, with this kind of paneling that's a little bit older, it's kind of scratched up. It has this really hideous wallpaper design on it, which I think was pretty common in the 90s. Um, and then you walk into here is the living room, which is some older furniture again, uh, boxy TV. <laughs> um, and then you go through here. You can see the dining table or the dining room is over here the kitchen is held back by this wall so the first thing i want to do is sort of break out um the walls and make it a little bit more open especially the kitchen i don't like when kitchens are kind of hidden in a corner so i'm going to change out all of this um furniture we'll keep the uh, layout the same but we're going to change out all of the counter space and probably open up this wall right here to make it a little bit more open and then dining room i think is okay to be separate i don't really like when the dining room is i don't like super open layouts where everything is just in one place but i also don't like when everything's closed off so we're gonna go for a healthy middle we'll keep the dining room the same for the most part we'll change out the wallpapers we're gonna change out all the rugs the color scheme is gonna completely change we'll even change the wood flooring i think just because i don't like this wood flooring and then in here, I think it's a bathroom. Yeah, so she made a choice to put beige um, bathtub in here, which I'll change out. I'm also going to change out the color of this cabinet because I really hate this cabinet color and she does too, which is why she used it. Um, going into here is the bedrooms. I, I don't even know what to say about this bedroom. I'm, I'm sure this is someone's taste, but it's not mine. <laughs> um, it's just it's a lot of pink. And it's a lot of different types of pinks. And she also has the carpet, which I hate carpet in The Sims. I think most people know that I don't like carpet in The Sims. So I'm gonna get rid of that. And then over here you have another bedroom. This one actually is pretty nice. I like this bedroom a lot, but I think it's a little bit confusing because I would imagine this is for, for a teen, especially with the wallpaper, or especially with the uh, posters, I mean. Um, posters and they have a guitar that looks kind of rock and roll, makes me think of like, you know, like a punk teen type of thing, but then they have this like really childish wallpaper. So I'm gonna change out the wallpaper and maybe add a little bit more to the room to make it more teenager like. Oh, we already went there. Okay. And then lastly, we go through here and we have the parents' bedroom, which I actually really like. Um, I think I might just change the color scheme, probably change out the uh, uh, furniture to be something a little bit more modern or farmhousey, and then in here they have an ensuite bathroom as well which I will once again be changing the shower to be white and then changing this to be a different counter color because I would never use that counter color I'm surprised if people use that because I think that's such a hard color to pull off and then now here you go into the backyard once again with brick um, on the flooring which I'm gonna change as well because I already told you I don't like brick. And then we're also going to change the roof trim if I haven't mentioned that. So I actually don't mind this layout too much. I think I'll add a little bit more to it because it's kind of an empty backyard space. I might change the color of these and then, yeah, and then maybe add a little bit more here. I'm surprised she didn't include any planter boxes. She includes planter boxes in almost all of her builds and a chest table, which she hasn't done either. So yeah. That's basically the plan, so I'm gonna go, and I'll catch you guys at the end of the video when we do the after tour, and yeah, let's get on with the speed build.
Alright guys, you, congratulations, you've reached the end of the video. If you don't want to listen to me blabber about this house, go ahead and skip over the screenshots. But we're going to get into a tour right now. So as you can see, the exterior has completely changed. There is now white brick, so I'm considering that they probably painted the brick um, over. And then they've also added, or I've added, I guess I don't know why I'm saying they. I've added uh, white siding, and so we got white brick white siding and then black columns to accent to make it a little bit more farmhousey. and then we've also got the metal roofing the metal sheet roofing instead of the sort of older looking shingles that were originally on it um the trim has changed to white instead of beige which is a big upgrade and then yeah i just add some more plants and stuff you can see that the earlier house didn't have any like flowers which is purposeful by little simsy she said she wanted to look ugly and so <laughs> that's what she did and so i've added sort of white and purple just because i thought it looked a little bit nice and yeah uh what else i also changed all the windows out they're in the same place for the most part but they're now seasons windows instead of cats and dogs and they're not beige so yeah and then getting into the house let me i'm too tall hold on <laughs> Getting into the house, I kept the closed off uh, entryway because I thought that was kind of cute and it still seems like something houses have. So I changed out the flooring as you can see to be this like yellowy, whiter, like lighter tone, which I think is a little bit more common and more modern nowadays or maybe contemporary. I'm not really sure what the difference is between modern and contemporary, so I'm sorry if I mix those up. And entering into the living room, which is pretty much the same um, like layout, but I've added some more stuff to it. Now there's a really nice modern um parenthood fireplace there's some nice beige and white couches i even added this island living table which i'm not sure if it looks good or not i don't usually use it in farmhouses but i just liked the vibes of it so i was like okay we're gonna put that in this time so yeah and then we have sort of like these more farmhousey lights on the bottom um i kept like i said i would i would kept the um dining area separately i use a different dining table than i usually use so let me know what you guys think about that because it definitely looks different from what i usually do and i'm not sure if i like it or not but yeah and then also as you can see i opened up the kitchen like i said i would i changed out all the counters and so now white and gray and from parenthood and yeah so actually the cabinets are from i don't know why i said that so weirdly. <laughs> the cabinets are from jungle adventure i just felt like i like these cabinets better than i like the ones that parenthood comes with so that's why i use them and then over here we have some open shelving in the corner because I feel like a lot of modern farmhouses have a bunch of really nicely cluttered um, open shelving. Sorry, I was moving my mouse over. But yeah, for the most part, oh no. I just kept those there because little Simsy placed them. I don't know if they moved because they definitely, I don't think they looked like that originally. I'm gonna have to look, I'll fix it later, it's whatever. Um, and then into the bathroom we'll go which as I said, I changed out the shower to be white. I changed out the cabinets, but everything else is pretty much the same except I've added more clutter. Um, there's now a trash can, some paintings. I've added lights overhead because I feel like that's so common. And I think it's funny because Little Simsy always complains that um, EA houses have wall lights in their bathrooms. And I don't understand why she complains about that. <laughs> like I get the house looks darker like that, but all houses, I like I, I do, is it not everywhere that, bathrooms have wall lights instead of like overhead lights because my bathroom has wall lights there's no overhead lights in my bathroom they're just wall lights so i just thought it's weird that she complains about that so i added that because that just seemed more realistic and then we also have the shower i added a robe that's hanging off the shower door and then going into the room i really like this room guys okay so it's completely changed there's no more carpet well i mean there is carpet because i put a carpet but the floor is wood so i guess they ripped the carpet off and found nice wood i don't know um, uh, yeah, so the bed is the same. I kept the same sort of vibe, but I made it more teenagery, if that makes sense. I feel like it looks more teenagery. I'm using Moschino wallpaper. I've added a desk. He has a little music nook with a microphone, a, a piano, and a guitar. He also has some skateboards hanging on the top, which I just thought looked really nice. I really like the way this looks. I feel like all the colors coalesce together because there's the black and the white, and then there's a bunch of orange orange accents but there's also a bunch of green accents because there's green coming from the skateboards um, from this poster here there's also some neon green and then obviously the plants are green as well and this sort of have this yellowy orange kind of green toned actually which I didn't realize until now carpet which kind of just puts everything together and keeps it brighter and more colorful despite having gray and white wallpaper so yeah that's this bedroom 
Um, I don't know if a teenage boy, like a typical teenage boy, would ever have a hanging plant in his room, but he does now. Okay, going into here, we have the other room, which is completely changed. I kept the pink, but I put a nicer color of pink than the hot pink. So we have this bed from Parenthood, which is the same bed, it's just a different color swatch. Um, we've got this really nice carpet, I believe that's from Discover University. We have this sort of paler pink on the walls, and it's joined with sort of a yellowy pink, or not a yellowy pink, a yellowy, like, I don't know, a pastel yellow type of thing going on here. Um, so this was made more for a kid, so she has a drawing table, same dresser as her brother, and then this nice little desk nook, and some paintings, which I don't know why the lighting on that is, there we go, some paintings from Tiny Living, just to keep it kind of softer than what was originally there. And she also has a musical interest right there, because she has a violin. So yeah, that's it for this room. I'm sorry, I'm moving the camera too much. <laughs> And then over across the room, we have the parents' bedroom, which I, I kind of got bored of furnishing, so this one's a little bit more basic, I think, than the original room. But as you can see, it has the same bed, just different color schemes. I gave her some older, gave them some older cats and dogs and tables. They have um, wall lights, which are a little bit more farmhousey as an accent. Um, changed out the dresser to be a little bit more modern and farmhousey, like modern farmhouse vibes. Um, they also have this really bright painting along this wall, and then their bathroom is pretty much the same. Um, I just changed out, again, the counter, added the wall light, some decor. Um, apparently I kept the, uh, tiling, which... Oh no! <laughs> I forgot to change the tiling. <laughs> Oopsies! We're gonna ignore that. I thought I changed the tiling, I guess I didn't. I changed it for the other bathroom though, right? Yeah, I changed it for the other bathroom. Oh, this is actually Durian Tipa 2. That's interesting. I actually used Durian Tipa 2 in this house. You can see both here as well. And I actually add this little get to work fencing. I don't know if you can see it so that it like separates the two um, floorings. Cause I feel like it looks weird that they're not separated. Like if you just have a sudden change of floor type without something separating them, it looks kind of weird. So that's my big pro tip there is use that fencing to separate your floors. <laughs> Into here, I've added a what is it called? A grill. Sorry, I forgot for a minute what I did. Um, some more landscaping, so a little bit more colors. I added some stuff for a pet because I figured farmhouse I always think of a pet. I kept the same um, fence. I tried changing it. I just thought it looked weird, so I was like, whatever, we'll just keep the same fence. Here I changed, obviously, into black. I forgot to change this into black, but we're gonna ignore that. It seems like I forgot a lot in this build today. Um, and then over here we have a little seating area, which she already had. I think I just changed the colors out a little bit. And then here I've added a little bit more, so it looks a little bit cuter. We have these little stone pads from Debug. Same, um, swing set. Now I've added a planter box. I actually added a few different planter boxes surrounding the tree and then some more landscaping. So yeah, that's the entire build. I hope you guys liked this video. As always, if you did, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up. If you like me, hit the subscribe button. And if you really like me and be notified every single time I post a video, go ahead and hit that bell button. I hope you guys are having a great day. You're going to hit into screenshots right now and I will see you next time. Mm -hmm.